Today, you are going to make your UIs mega accessible, like whoa. Heading one. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon. So today we're gonna to be checking out ARIA attributes, all right? So if you've seen these and you don't know what they are, maybe you're looking through code pen demos and you saw them in other people's HTML and their attributes, well, it's a good idea to start familiarizing yourself with these, all right? So I'm gonna link uh, the following link here in the description, YouTube description. And basically, uh, we're at developer.mozilla.org. And it's ARIA is an acronym for Accessible Rich Internet Applications, all right? So it's a set of attributes that define ways to make web content and applications uh, accessible for with people uh, who have disabilities, primarily vision disabilities, uh, people who have to use screen readers, all right? So, I, you know, I've talked about in the past the importance of understanding contrast as it pertains to UI design and people with bad vis vision, but there are some people their eyesight is so bad, it doesn't matter. They have to use, uh, they have to rely on audio. So screen readers is what they use. So uh, we're, I'm gonna show you how to install this uh, Chrome Vox, which is a free Google extension to, that emulates a screen reader. It basically is a screen reader for websites. And this is by, by this tutorial right here is by no means uh, an elaborate comprehensive tutorial on how to use these. It's, I'm just gonna show you a couple examples with this screen reader and how we can make it much easier for people who don't have eyesight or have really bad eyesight to use your applications and your websites. All right, so it's very important. I uh, There's also, if you go to Google and you type in ARIA examples, you're gonna find a bunch of them. You don't have to learn them all. All you have to do is just when you encounter a situation uh, where you're not sure how you should deal with it in terms of accessibility, go to Google, uh, type it in, you know, the, the, the attribute or what you're building, like an accordion or a custom alert or something like that, and you should be able to, to self-teach yourself. All right, so make sure to, to subscribe if you haven't yet, and also very soon I'm releasing a UI design course, so go to completeui.design, enter your email to get notified, and let's get started. Before we begin, this video sponsor is Linode, and they make it easy and affordable to host your site, app, or service on whatever technology stack you use. Unlike entry-level hosting services, Linode is a step up to powerful, fast, fully configurable cloud computing. With server plans starting at just $5 plus no hidden fees or surprise outages, Linode offers a no-nonsense hosting at a price you can afford. So sign up now using the link below to get a $20 credit on your new Linode account. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do in order to get this up and running is to visit the Chrome Web Store, search for Chrome Vox extension, all right, it's free. Um, it has low ratings, but only because people couldn't figure out how to disable it because it does get annoying hearing that. Uh, and so the way you disable this plugin uh, is to hit Shift Alt and then double tap AA. So just Shift Alt AA um, while holding Shift and Alt down. Um, and so just get it installed and it'll automatically, you know, get ready. The way you activate it uh, or deactivate it again is just Shift AA. Home extensions, Chrome As Box, classic hear. extension, Chrome Box, Chrome but Box just hit is it again now inactive. To turn it off. All right, so I have this very quick markup here. It's just a simple index.html with a CSS file. I already styled it. We don't need to worry about that. Um, and just to take a look at the markup, uh, it's just a div class of a container. We got a header element. We also have um, a logo here and then an unordered list for a navigation, okay? Um, now, if we look at what this looks like in the browser, very straightforward, just a logo, and then our services. We can see it. This isn't really an issue of accessibility for us. Now, let's go ahead and enable that plugin, Shift-Alt-A-A. Window, this is my website All right, tab. so by default, it'll just Gary start Simon, reading who am I services pretty much contact. everything that we have here. Um, and if I hit, uh, you can hit tab or you can hit shift alt in the, um, the arrow keys, like up and down. Wrap so if bottom. I hit link down, it just says link for this one. Usually it would read them out, but sometimes it's a little bit finicky, this plugin. Um, if I hit shift alt list down with again, three items, who am I link list item? That's exactly what a person who's blind or who can't see really uh, has to work off of. It's just that audio alone. So if Gary I go back, Simon. that time it read it, and then go back to this, this the next element. List with three items. So Who it says I? list with three Link items. List that's item. it. All right. That's that's basically all that you have to go off of. And I, 
they're not informed that this is an actual navigation or an important element for this website. So what we could do, uh, we could do one of two things. One is the incorrect way. I'm gonna show you the incorrect way first. Um, what we could do is say ul role equals navigation. And this is the, 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 the area um, approach uh, to doing this. Uh, but it's this is my website. Approach. Exit so header go navigation with three items. Gary Simon, who am I? So services contact. You just contact. heard it, but let me get started here. Wrapped back here. Link again. list item. Link. Navigation with three items. Who am I? Link list item. Notice it said navigation this time with three items. All right, but the thing is, we don't want to use these uh, the the area attributes. Area. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Hopefully, I'll get that correct here in a second. Um, but you want to use the nav elements. There's your HTML5 semantic uh, elements where they're needed. And this will give us the same result. This is my website. Gary Simon, who am I services contact. So let's try this again. Wrap to top. Link. Navigation list with three items. Who am I? Link list item. So as you see, it does the same thing. It says it's a navigation. So very important uh, to understand that you only want to use these elements when you need to, and you want to have the uh, you want to use your your HTML tags where necessary, uh, because that's their pur purpose is accessibility. So let's go ahead and move on to yet another example. Okay, so what we have here that I just typed out. Um, is we have this uh, read more section um, where it's basically kind of like an accordion UI where we have an unordered list, we have a button, um, and then we have this paragraph for each one of them that is hidden in the CSS by default. So in the browser, Learn the only thing you see is this. This is my little Chrome box right, is so now inactive. Off. And as you can see, you click on it. Oh, yet it doesn't work, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. All right, there we go. I just uh, updated the code. I'll show you in a second what I did. But we click on this and basically, you know, we have our, our basic accordion situation going on. So let's go ahead and re-enable what a screen reader, um, how it would traverse these and how they would basically be presented. Um, I guess before we, uh, no, we'll go ahead and do that right now. So Gary Simon, who am I services contact, and I'm gonna learn go ahead about accessibility. This header, tab here, list with three items, okay, let's list go item ahead back heading to. All right. So this let's is start my right little here. nifty paragraph. <laughs> this is my ha, nifty ha, little ha. paragraph. So read more about my services. All right. So the next thing heading that they're going to encounter is going to be, uh, this right here. List with three items, list item, UI design button. All right, so it says it's a UI design button. Okay, so that's all you have to work with. Remember, you're not looking at the, the, the UI, so you don't know what's gonna happen. So uh, you could keep on going down. List item, UI design, button. It says the same thing, okay. I uh, You know they're buttons. List item. So let's UI go ahead design. and click on one, which you can do button. by hitting enter. UI design, button. That's all that happens. So imagine if you're blind or you can't see, same thing really, or you can't see very well, and you click the button, all it does is just repeat the button. That's bad. So we can fix this with those attributes, and this is a perfect use case uh, for it. So the first thing that we would wanna do is on the button itself, because that's the element that they have to interact with, is we wanna add some attributes. And the key attribute that we'd wanna add is ARIA hyphen expanded equals false. So it's gonna let them know by default that this is something that can collapse and expand and we're setting it to a value of either true or false, a Boolean value. Uh, next, if a button controls another area I, uh, or another div element or another piece of content, like in our case, then we also should specify area controls equals 
for instance, sect one, which is in relation to an ID attribute on the element you wanted to control. So in this case, I, if you wanted a bunch of elements like make a div wrapper, you could place it on a div, but since ours is very simple, we're just using a single paragraph. So we could say ID equals section one, and then also role equals region, all right? And you would also want to add area hyphen labeled by equals btn1 and we can place an id of btn1 here all right so let's go ahead and this save is that. my website gary simon wrap to bottom wrap to top wrap button this is heading to so remember we only placed this on the first ui design element here in the accordion so let's go ahead and see how this changes the situation now list with three items list item ui design button collapsed there we go button collapsed all right so if we hit enter ui design button collapsed it still says button collapsed and that's why you wanted to use javascript in order to get this working. So this is the existing JavaScript that I have just to make the accordion work and the expander icon, which is right over here. Uh, UI design, to make that UI design. Down. So what we want to do is we have an if statement that sets the panel style display to none if it's already expanded. And then if it's not expanded, we just do the reverse. We just, we set it to a block. So down here in this else statement, we would want to reset the value of that area, area, whatever, uh, expanded to true, all right? So you, this is a simple matter of understanding basic uh, JavaScript and vanilla JavaScript. So to do that, we would simply say, uh, because we're already referencing the, uh, the button here, we simply say this dot set attribute we wrap it in the attribute name that's tied to it, which is area expanded. We set it to true. And that's it. Uh, and then also we would reverse that and set that up here to false. Very, very simple. So now we'll go back. Window, this is my website tab. This heading to list with three items list item ui design button collapsed all right it's a button and it's collapsed ui design button expanded there we go if we hit it again ui design button collapsed and there you go so that gives you a really solid uk use case and there's a bunch more of course i uh, where you know there's a there's many other very helpful ways that you can use these attributes for accessibility and making your website uh, or your app something that even blind people can easily navigate. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. It's very important uh, if you want to get a job, uh, especially working with you know uh, a company that takes themselves seriously and they want to uh, appeal to the largest audience as possible. I uh, make sure that you understand what these ARIA attributes are and how to implement them. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys real soon. Goodbye.